Hello and welcome. Please pause the video and try the problem on your own. And then when you're ready to solve it with me, press play and we'll solve it together. All right, so they want to know how many real solutions uh, this equation has and they want us to justify the answer. So let me explain that. First of all, there, in the world of numbers, there are real numbers, right? And real numbers include basically all the numbers you've seen up until this point. That includes whole numbers, right? It includes integers, so positive and negative numbers. It includes fractions and decimals, so rational numbers. And it also includes irrational numbers, like the square root of 2 and pi. Those are all irrational. Uh, excuse me, those are all real numbers. Then there's the world of imaginary numbers, and that includes essentially numbers that are the square roots of negative numbers. So the square roots of negative numbers. So for example, if I said what's the square root of negative 4? There is no answer in the real world numbers. For example, negative 2 is not the square root of, of negative uh, 4, because negative 2 times negative 2 is not negative 4, right? There's no square root of negative 4. In fact, it just equals 2i. You could try it, try to make it negative 2. It won't work, right? Negative 2 squared is not negative 4. So we have this number i, which is an imaginary number. So you can recognize imaginary numbers whenever you have the square roots of negative numbers. And that's what we'll find in this problem. In this problem, there are no imaginary, there are no real solutions. And we can use the quadratic formula to figure that out. And then I'll show you a second way to use the graphing, of using the graphing calculator. So we have the equation x squared minus 2x plus 5 equals 0. So in this equation, a is the coefficient of x squared, 1. b is the coefficient of x, negative 2. And c is the constant all by itself, 5. And the quadratic formula, as scary as it looks, is quite beautiful. It says that x always equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. This is an equation you are given on the regents, so you don't have to memorize it. But negative b is negative negative 2, or 2, plus or minus the a square root of b squared, 4, minus 4 times a times c, so that's just minus 20, right? And it's all over 2 times 1. So you can actually see here what's happening, maybe, right? Here, we have 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 16 all over 2. And this is going to give us an imaginary number. You can simplify this by dividing both numerators by 2, if you want, you get 1 plus or minus. Now the square root of negative 16 divided by the square root of 4. The square root of 4 is really just 2. Those are identical. That just equals, you can divide those square roots directly, 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 4. And here, that's really 1 plus or minus, plus or minus 2i. And I think you could stop at this step right here, because you're trying to say that this has no real roots because of the imaginary numbers here. Uh, but essentially, uh, once you recognize a negative square root, you have an imaginary number. So there are no real roots for this number, uh, for this uh, quadratic ex expression, <laughs> sorry, equation. Another way to recognize this is to think about what the roots are. Um, excuse me, this, uh, the roots are when you're at zero, right? The height is zero. And if a parabola is drawn, basically, so that it never crosses the x-axis, like up here, or maybe down here. It's never going to cross the x-axis. When that happens, there are actually no roots, right? Roots are when the parabola has a height of zero, and the height of zero is on the x-axis. So uh, another situation, another way to think about this is that this graph has no real roots because it never crosses the x-axis. And you can see that pretty quickly on the graphing calculator. In the graphing calculator, we go to our y equals button. Clear off any old equations, right? Get rid of them. You don't need those. Clear, enter. Now enter in this equation. Oops, sorry. Okay. Our equation is x squared minus 2x minus 2x plus 5. And then we go to our graph. And here I can see part of it, but what I see is the parabola never reaches the x-axis, right? So we know that there are imaginary roots. So you can say that as well in your answer. If we drew this parabola, it would never cross the x-axis. So there are no real roots. All right, I hope that helped.